Okay, so welcome back. Uh, this is going to be a fairly brief video, and I want to show you a really nice feature of Visual Studio in Windows Forms, where you can effectively have multiple applications running at the same time, and you can jump between them using what's called a tab control. You can see here I've got an application that uh, has a number of tabs up here, and I can jump between the different functions by just clicking on the tab. And it's like I have multiple applications running at the same time, and I can just jump between them really quickly. Um, this particular application does some engineering calculations, different types of calculations. So for example, in this tab, I can add two vectors. So all I do is I hit the Add button and see it draws out my two vectors and the resulting vector. Or I can go to another type of calculator that does some power system calculations. And I've got this graphing application that in real time in the background is doing these graphing things. It seems like not a lot of people know about it. And you can um, have a bunch of things going on and it's taking up the same real estate on your screen. But you can just jump between different applications. So we're going to show you fairly quickly how to add these what's called a tab control and have multiple tab pages in that control. And the nice thing about it is Visual Studio keeps track. So for example, if you have a tab, I've got buttons and text boxes and labels, it knows in the background where those buttons, what tab those buttons are associated with. So it's like all of this stuff in the different tab exists in the background. You just don't see it unless you click on the tab, but Visual Studio knows all about it. So you really don't have to keep track of what tab it's in. Um, Visual Studio already knows what tab it's in, and it just shows you uh, visually the different um, content of the different tabs, but all of this stuff exists in the background. So we're going to start up a, um, a new Visual Studio um, C Sharp Forms application and show you how to add this tab control with the different pages. So here I've opened up a brand new C Sharp Windows Forms application. And I show you in a previous video uh, how to write your very first software application. If you've never done this before, I show you how to download Visual Studio. It's free. It's absolutely wonderful uh, software development, um, IDE, or Integrated Development Environment. And I show you how to get to this point. Um, now that we're here, we're going to show you how to add tab controls. Um, so the first thing, I'm going to click on this form, right click, and select View Code so we can see the basic code the default code that we get with this in case we have to add some components. And then we'll go back to this Form 1 design and we'll go to the toolbox and you can see all Windows Forms controls and we'll go down to what's called a tab control. And we can drop that on the, on the um, form and you can see it starts out with two tab pages. So the, the main tab control has children tab pages. So what we can do is we can add or subtract the number of tab pages depending on what we need. So here we have um, a tab page. You can see the tab page one is selected. If we click up here, we are now selecting the main tab control called tab control one. And we can select down here to the page. And what we can do is we can add text to tab page two, we can instead call it um, calculator. So now that's calculator and tab page one is called tab page one. And um, what we can also do is select up here for the main tab control. We can rename it and we can also add tab pages to it. So here down, if you scroll down to tab pages, you can see there is a collection of tab pages. And if we click on that, you can see here are the two default tab pages, tab page one and tab page two. We can add tab page three, and you can see now we've got a third tab page. And tab page three, we can say the text is another calculator. And now we've got the other calculator. And we hit OK, and we can drag this out. And now we've got our three tab pages. And once you've got those, all you have to do is click on each tab page. If you click down here, you're clicking on the page. And if you click up here, you're clicking on the control. So we click on the page and now we can set the um, color of the page. For example, uh, back color 
we can set it to Gainsborough, we change the color. We can do all kinds of stuff, but at the end of the day, we're all set. Now all we have to do is, for example, drag a, if we want to drag a button, we can drag a button onto this, another calculator. And if we run this, here is our tab control. And we've got our calculator, another calculator, and here's our button with the other uh, color. So pretty nice. It's a really wonderful way to um, have separate controls, separate applications running at the same time, doing different things, and you can just use the same real estate and just jump between them. So anyway, uh, if you like any of these videos, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications, and most of all, let others know that we're here so we get some more viewers. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.